What up, Coop Group? Welcome back to Alliance Wars Season 19, War 5, where we take on FODH. And I'll be taking Path 9 in the first section, Path 5 in the second section, with, of course, the same team. And Path 9, the first node is Hazard Shift, where basically, um, anytime you hit the opponent, it, you get a chance to incinerate, and after 12 seconds, you get a chance to be poisoned. But, with Ghost on this node, basically, turn any of those incinerates are poisoned straight to a Fury. So Ghost is great for this lane, and the global, which I showed you a second ago, is stubborn, um, and Emma Frost is a stubborn defender, so anytime I want to do damage, I need to make sure I take a blocked hit, or if I can parry her, but I don't think I'm going to be able to parry her. My goal here is get to a special 2, have a lot of furies, the passive furies, from the incinerates or poisons, and just go to town. So as you hear, I'm taking a few hits on purpose, trying to get a lot of furies, do I get any at all? I get no furies at all, do a bit of damage. Get a poison, I may turn it straight to a Fury, and I need to take a blocked hit and finish this fight off just like that. Now this next fight, it isn't too bad, it's a Havoc, and of course, whenever you see a Havoc, you expect to ha have a champion with an armor up. Now Warlock would work for this node right here, as long as you never hit into him while he is in the incinerate phase. But if he's in the poison phase, you can hit him as much as you want. But with Ghost, I can just hit as much as they want. As long as I don't take um, Plasma Detonation, I'll be okay for this. So I need to finish them off before I take any Plasma Detonation at all. So I'm trying to get as much power as I can from my phase. And I am getting a lot of Furies. So I'm doing a lot of damage here, hitting into him. He is not a um, stubborn defender, so he goes down just like that. I don't have to take any blocked hits, and this fight is down. The next fight was a Sinister, so I did not take it. And I didn't take any of the mini bosses. We just destroyed them like we should have. And now on to path 5. I did get a comment from my last video that I talked too much. But if that's an issue for you, just mute it and just watch the fights. But anyways, these next two fights are an ebb and flow intercept. So to do more damage, you need to be able to do an intercept. And phase intercepts do count. So I will be doing some fa phase intercepts here. I do get parried first, but luckily that ghost is not awakened. If that ghost was awakened and he parried and hit me, I would have had one huge hit straight to the face. But because it wasn't awakened, he didn't have his, he didn't have her um she didn't have her crit buff up, so she couldn't crit against me. But I get my special two, do a bit of damage. Now the first hit, I do some damage from um Evan Flow Intercept. But then it it fades away. And I'm just gonna base in special, I'm just gonna fire like normal. She's a very easy defender to fight against, especially on stubborn, because she is not a stubborn defender. She's offensive, so it's not an issue at all. I get my uh, intercept in. I'm going to do a special one to finish this fight off. Just like that, and it's over. Now, the next fight is against a Wasp on Ebb and Flow Intercept. And again, same strategy. My goal is just to do phase one, one hit intercept. I will parry her. I think I do get evaded and shocked once. I believe it happens in this fight because I decided to parry into two hits, and the second hit was too late, and then she evades it. But other than that, this fight goes pretty smoothly. Um, right here, I get evaded, and I get a shock on me, but it's okay, because I'm just converted to a Fury to do more damage. As you see, I'm doing seven, almost 7,000 damage per medium, which is nice for that Fury. And I evade a, um, or I bait a medium, sorry, a heavy attack, just so I can, you know, make sure she can't evade me all that much. Get her protection back. I, And right here is kind of scary. She has a special 2 ready. And she's not dead. So I'm like, crap. I hold my block here just so I can bait um, any attack at all. And just finish her off just like that. Now, if she were with my special 2, that would have done a lot of damage to my block. And I could have been screwed there. Could have definitely been screwed. And on to the mini bosses. Now I took it pretty easy this war. Um, for all the my main standard nodes. I didn't take any mini bosses. I didn't take any shared nodes. I just... Did some fights and just saved some potions just so I can get the boss, which you'll see in a second. But get this mini boss. Um, I could have saved this for someone with a Corvus, but no one was awake when I had it. So my goal here is to do the same exact thing that I did a few wars ago. Just basically only do heavy attacks. Now because the global is just um, stubborn, I don't get any special attack bonuses like I get in flow with Ghost. Now, I get a special 2 off, and my goal here is just to bait special 2s. I don't want to bait special 1s, so she doesn't take away my power. Plus, I suck at evading special 1s sometimes. Um, 
Now, I could have just ran in there, but I don't want to activate her miss mechanic at all. And this node does have vigorous assault, so you'll see that once she does start regening, she's going to go unblockable. My goal here is to push her to special 2, of course. Just holding block, repairing, which is a super fun technique. Base special 2 and just go from there. She throws it like a champ, exactly what I wanted. I can get a few hits in here. Throw a special in a second. Well, throw a heavy attack first. Get a fury. Finish this fight off with the special right here. Intercepting special and this fight is over. Now this next fight. This next fight is terrible. Let's talk about it. This next fight is a Killmonger, Awakened Killmonger on Stun Reflect. So if you parry him, he reflects a stun against you, and he's basically going to kill you. And also, Polka Dot Power, you cannot gain power unless you have a damage and debuff on the opponent. So, I dueled a Killmonger a lot. I knew we were going to win this war. I just really wanted to test this fight out and see if I can do it. And I cannot do it. But you'll see that I take a good amount of death to this fight, because I just really want to test it out. Um, the first run at it was not good. I boost up, and I did do a lot of duels against Killmonger, trying my best not to stun him at all. And he is a stubborn defender, which makes this fight so much harder, which means the only way I can get damage off is by doing specials. And I have to do specials when he does not have his reverberation up. So, let's get into this fight. You'll see how difficult this fight is with Ghost. Now, if I were you... Talk to myself in the past when I was fighting. I would have let someone with Hyperion or Captain Marvel take this fight. Now, Captain Marvel would have not gained any power at all, but Hyperion can still gain power. But what's really cool with Polka Dot Power is that Ghost can still gain power only through her phase. Not through being hit, not by hitting, but only through her phase if she is awakened. So, my goal here. As you see here, I'm going to put on an advanced power boost. Is to get to a special 2 as quick as I can. And rinse through special 2s in a row over and over until he's dead. If I have to take reverb, fine. But that's only if the last hit kills. So, on to the fight. Now, the worst thing about this fight, again, is the stubborn part. Where I can only get hits off. And this fight's already not going well at all. And I can get to a special 2 as quick as I can. What I forgot here, the is that I'm not getting any power at all, and I should be phasing this whole time. Also, I learned that you can heavy counter his heavy, which is really cool. Really cool. So I'm like, not get to the special 2 at all in this fight, and I really wish I was able to. I wish he were throwing special 2 right here. This fight is already screwed. I'm about to get like hit, and this fight's over, just like this. I'm in the corner. I'm stuck. There's no, nothing I can do here. Push him out of the way, and he's at special 2. He's not going to throw it, and I, I somehow stunned him. And I'm like, crap, crap. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Special 3. Okay, well, I'm dead. And I want to conserve potions. So I died. And let's go back in again. He's at 100% because somehow my phone glitched and I forced quit. That was weird. So the biggest issue there is I got stuck in the corner. There's nothing I can do because if I get stuck in the corner, he's going to throw heavy attacks and I cannot fully invade a heavy attack unless I am phased. And also, I need to make sure I am phased as long as I can. And I wish that I was higher sig for the six star ghost so we get to a special two quicker trying to get a special two i should have stayed phased there that was my my bad i should have stayed phased um i should have been phased as much as i can to get to a special two and that's kind of where i regret here is that i wasn't phasing enough and i really wish i was i should have taken that whole thing in the phase should have taken it i should have like been all those hits now i finally got a special two i gotta block him as you see i'm gonna block him in a second block right here well I'm trying to block do an intercept there. I need to block a hit there. Not happening. I need to block. Throw a special 2 right here. Finally get a hit off. And I can finally rinse a few different specials off. And I do take some reverb there, which is okay. It is whatever. I need to take a blocked hit again. Throw a special 2 again. Right here, second special 2. It's Luckily, it did not activate rever reverb there. Here's a special 2. Now, I'm doing a lot more damage this time. I'm doing a lot better. But it's not enough. It is not enough. I should have hit into his block there, pushed him back, and I'm screwed here. So I throw a special one. It is doing reverb. It is what it is. The worst things have happened. And I wasted three hit crit hits right there. I need to get to a special attack again, or else I'm basically screwed. A cool thing about this fight is that 
while he is indestructible, I get hit into him as much as I want. Because it won't active reverb. And I messed up there. But I did a lot better that time. A lot better. So I revive Ghost and I go back in again. I am wasting items, which does come into play later. And you'll see. Now I know that that fight is possible. If I had a 200% power boost on, I could have rinsed special twos in a row over and over and over. However, I had 150% on. I don't want to put on too much of a power boost or else I get to a special three, which kind of sucks because then you can't rinse special twos over and over. But I revive up, trying to get back up, and my power boost is gone. Trying to get my uh, my phase back or my power back just so I can get as much power as I can. I'm trying to push him back if I can. Nice intercept. Not I have no clue where the intercepts come from. I got two intercepts right there. And you'll see I'm going to get too confident on the next time I try and intercept and I die. And he's at 13%. Man, I could have done so much better in this fight. So much better. I should have done a heavy attack there. That's what I should have done. And I'm like, I, I did two intercepts. I'm good. Nope. Dead. That's what happens when I get confident from intercepts. I try again. And I'm like, oh, I got the timing. Perfect. No, I don't. Not at all. Anyways, got to go with Wasp. I already died three times this fight. And any more attack bonuses are just already gone. So I cannot do any heavy attacks with Wasp. Because... Her stun counts as a stun, which I hate that her stun counts as a stun. Now, I did get, I did evade there, but that's okay. This fight's over just like that. And now, when the shock was on, as you saw, I was getting power from Polka Dot Power. So if you do want to also have someone, I believe Human Torch also works for that node too. Anyways, on to the next fight. I did not... Oh, wait, watch here. Look, there's a level 4 Team Health Potion. I am purchasing Team Health Potions. I did not mean to do that. I revived up, and I did not mean to throw on a Team Health Potion. That is two... Team health potion, 600 units wasted right there. I meant to throw on a single health potion. I'm so mad at myself right here. It's the wrong potion used. But that's two. I believe I do that one more time right by three. Now, at this moment, I was two in the zone. I had no idea I just bought those team health potions and I wasted 600 units out of nowhere. Now, I never waste units, but I really wanted to get as much health as I could. And the level four health potions do just around 6,000. But I believe the, level, the um, health potions you can buy with units... Give you around 9,000. However, that one gives you 14,000, the team out potions, but I did not mean to do that. Anyway, it's run the brute force mini boss right here. And I do die here again. But it's really weird because, because when I'm being heavy attacks, you'll see this one connects. The other heavy attacks I throw against is heavy completely miss. Completely miss. That's the first one out of two that completely miss. And now brute force is taking me away. And I'm like, are you serious? How'd that miss? How did that miss? I still thrown a uh, special two there. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh yeah, I was armor broken, so I couldn't throw a special two there. I'm gonna try and re-parry here. Miss my re-parry. Throw a few hits there, throw a special two. I still have the power boost on, but I'm not doing that much damage. And I wish I had enough I can get a second one. Now I should have thrown a heavy attack right here. It's the, my bad. I really wanted the fury. And again, I missed the heavy attack. I'm like, are you kidding me? How does that happen? I always connect that heavy and I missed. Another death. Wow. My perfect deathless season is not going well right now at all. But I'm going to revive up Ghost. I Look, I have four items left. And again, I forget to switch over to a single champion. And I waste 900 units right here. Yes, Ghost heals up completely, but I wasted 900 units. Did not even realize it that I purchased three team health potions. I wanted them individual ones. Crap. So now I'm out of items. That's completely... have. I'm, I, I'm like full out of items now. And my goal here is to not bait the heavies anymore. If he throws a heavy, I'm just not going to throw my heavy. Just going to do as much damage as I can normally. Because I want to get to that boss with as much health as possible, that Doom boss. Because I'm the only one who can take it noted. And again, I'm taking that Doom boss noted like I did last war when I took him, um, took the Mojo boss noted. Anyways, I'm going to bait special two here. He throws it. I believe I can finish him off with a special one here. I'm going to parry him. Try and parry him. Or I finally do a heavy attack. Not sure why I threw that, but I threw a special one right here. Try and finish him off. Hope it does, and it does. And on to this boss fight. The noted boss fight. Now they placed a Doctor Doom as their boss. And I'm leaving up the Hazard Shift node up so that I can do more damage during my specials. Speaking of, the only time I plan to do actual damage because he is a stubborn defender is during my specials. And I'm still boosted up from the previous fights. And I, like, basically don't play this 100% as I should. You'll see that I do get a good amount of damage off, 
but not enough. Now, I'm trying to get a special two as quick as I can, hence why I phased there. And I'm taking blocked hits so I can turn off stubborn. And I played this wrong. I should have gone to a special two, and that's the only time when I should have been taking blocked hits. The only time I should have been taking blocked hits is when I had a special two ready. I wasted a good amount of like health there, and I somehow get intercepted off. I don't know how I get those intercepts off, but anyways, back to this fight. He is indestructible. I get perfect evades every single time. Now, I should have taken blocked hits there. It's the only time I should have taken blocked hits. Throwing special two right here, I should have. And he's very close to the special two. He does not get special two. Luckily, he doesn't, but that did like no damage at all. I was hoping to do a lot more damage to him, but I did not have enough debuffs on me to convert to Furies before I threw a special two. And again, I shouldn't have taken any blocked hits. The only time I should have taken blocked hits was before I threw a special two. Now, he's throwing heavy attacks. He's creating a lot of space, pushing me back, which I do not want. Gets his aura back up again, which I'm not thankful for at all. I want that aura down as much as I can. I should not take any blocked hits at all. That was a that was a terrible idea. He can do his block to push him back. Blocked hits now that I have a special ready. Evaded that, which I didn't want to. Gotta take more blocked hits here. Get parried. And this fight is just basically over. I'm, I'm already screwed here. And I throw a special to into him that has like basically did no damage at all. I'm trying to survive this fight. And I have a little bit longer this fight left. A little bit of time left, 20% left that I'm able to take him down. We'll see how much more damage I can do. Try and get to the special two again. Hitting him far back so I don't get stuck in the wall because that's when I'm going to be screwed. Again, I should not take any blocked hits at all. And I know I'm not going to survive any more blocked hits here. And I got so lucky in the intercept. I should have slowed that down. But the intercept was amazing. Hit a special one ready. And I know that basically there's no chance with his special one that I was going to take any more blocked hits. I had to do an intercept. And I have no items left. There's nothing left I can do. And this war was insane. There was three minutes left, and Battle Group 3 had not gotten the boss down. And there was three minutes left, and they were so close. If we didn't get that boss down, we would have lost this fight for sure. We ended up winning this war, as you see there. I got seven fights in. I died five times, only to the mini-bosses, because I was not smart at all. And yeah, I basically doubled my deaths from this whole season just in this war. I was doing so well in the past four wars until today. But I did what I could to get, the, um, get to the boss as quick as I can. I should have waited, but I didn't want to. And yeah, we ended up getting a boss down. I'm proud of my team. We're now 5-0. and And if you've learned anything from this video, it is to make sure that you are patient. Do not go in when you shouldn't. And only take blocked hits when you need to. Anyways, this is Coop signing off. Happy gaming.